Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We have this 2015 Hyundai Sonata. It's got about 80,000 miles and it's time to change out that serpentine belt. Here are the tools and the supplies that you're gonna use. You're gonna use a 17 millimeter. You can either use a wrench like this or they do make longer wrenches uh, specifically for serpentine belts or drive belts. A flathead that's really long. Uh, then whatever kind of belt you need for this 2015, it is a 4060397F. This is by Continental. You can find lots of other makes and models of belts along the way, uh, but that's the one we're choosing to use on this project. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just go ahead and come off to the side of your vehicle and open up the door. Uh, then you gotta kinda of look down and under. Right here is your hood latch. Uh, then once you have popped the hood latch, you're gonna to come to the center of it. So you're gonna go ahead and find kind of almost center and then just off to the right, just a little bit, slips this up. And you don't have to prop this kind up because it does have the gas powered um, kind of like what your trunk has that just kind of hold it up for you. So um, we'll go ahead and dive right on into the project. So I do want to show you this. This is just a little hand drawing. So you're going to have your alternator and then below that. So there's your alternator. Below that you can't really see is the AC. And then this right here is your tensioner right here. It kind of looks silver on the top. Uh, then down below will be your crankshaft. And so you won't really be able to see that as well. But this right here is what we're gonna be focusing on with that 17 millimeter. So you're gonna go ahead and take your 17 millimeter and you're gonna do it this direction and you're gonna take it and put it over top of the nut. And then you're gonna lift up and be careful not to drop this down. Uh, then you're going to slowly, you can also use a screwdriver to help pull off the belt. So we're going to just continue to take this up to get the old one off. We may have to do some different things for the new one, um, but hopefully this does come right off. This engine is just a touch hot living in the south here. I'm not in Ohio like I normally am, so everything's a little toastier. You do want to be careful not to to scratch anything as you do this, but we're almost up and over the edge. And then you can go ahead and loosen that tensioner and it should go back like that. And we'll go ahead and begin to pull the belt up. And just like that, that's your old belt. One thing I do like to do is look at the difference between the belts. And so this is the new one you can see cause it's got all the markings. And you will notice it may be just, oh, it's really close. Sometimes the old one is a little bit uh, thinner and because it's been worn and sometimes you can see cracks and stuff on it. This one's pretty good, but it did call for the change. 80,000. Um, and it has 80,000 miles on it. So we're gonna take the new one and what you gotta do is you gotta get it under that crank shaft around, around it properly. And so you may need a second set of hands to just hold it on that and we'll go ahead and get this around and then we'll get it around the AC next which is that one below the alternator and so we're around that and then we're going to slowly just hold it with our hand so the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and put this up and around here try our best to get it down under the tensioner so we'll go ahead and put that and then we need to put this belt under while keeping this on here. And so we're gonna try to just keep moving it. And then you may need a screwdriver. Do be careful not to puncture your belt. I need it to go back just a little further. A second set of hands is really helpful. We are so close. There we go. Uh, then we are gonna slowly bring this back. And that is on there. You wanna double check to make sure it's on all of the pulleys correctly. Those teeth should fit down into the grooves. And then we'll go ahead and give it a start up and see how it worked. Go ahead and start up the vehicle and we will uh, go ahead and make sure there's no high pitch squealing, nothing like that. That's good. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Please comment if you do have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching.